Welcome to this EM Express video. My name is Maria Billings. I work for Oracle Server Technologies Curriculum. This video provides a high-level overview of a performance hub. EM Express includes the performance hub, which is a new unified interface for all your performance monitoring tasks. So you have a single view of your database performance with access to the Automatic Database Diagnostic Monitor, or ADDM, to SQL tuning information, to real-time SQL monitoring, and the Active Session History, or ASH Analytics. In other environments, DBAs have to navigate through multiple pages to see the same information. To navigate to the Performance Hub from the Database homepage, click Performance, then Performance Hub, on top of this page, you see a flexible time picker that allows you to seamlessly switch between real-time and historical view of the database performance. You can change the characteristics of the slide. The real-time view by default shows you the last hour. And for this last hour, on the summary page, you see the host runnable processes. You can move the cursor over the legend to see the details, for example, how much background CPU was used, how much the foreground processes used the CPU. Here you see the memory host total. If you click on show host memory, you see some of the details here like the shared pool, large pool, etc. Below there are active session information and I.O. information. You can click on each of these tabbed pages to view more detailed information. Next, let's look at the Rack page. Here you see first the global cache information, global cache blocks received, and then the blocks get time. And below it you see instance details. We have two instances. If you click on a link, you will see the performance instance for only that particular instance. With the browser back button, I returned to this page. And now look at the activity. This page allows you to drill down to the active session history by using multiple dimensions. If you want to know which modules are using the most resources, you can go top dimensions, modules, and here you see the modules. By moving the cursor again over the legend, I see the highlighted areas. If I click on one of them, it acts as a filter. And you see on this detailed page only information pertaining to that particular module. So I see the module activity and then the SQL within that module. So here you see the de SQL details. I will go back. By the way, on this activity page, you can also change, for example, uh, the graphs below here. So if I look at top dimensions, weight, weight events, you see how the graph changes. Next, let's look at the workload tapped page. Uh, selected by the time picker, you can look at the user calls, pass calls, redo size and open cursors. If you are already in the detailed part of analysis and know a SQL ID, you could enter it over here and then filter by it. Or you can click directly on a SQL link. Again, this leads you to the SQL details page. Next, we look at the monitored SQL page, which shows you the currently running and monitored SQL. I'm moving the slider back to look at some more interesting statements. And whenever a statement interests you, you can click the ID link. And here you see an active statement again with a general overview, time and weight statistics, I.O. statistics. You see the planet statistics, the planet itself in a graphical format. You see the parallelization, the activity and the metrics. The ADDM or Automatic Database Diagnostic Monitor findings of this database are based on the last AWR hours. So if there are any findings, it shows them to you here. The current findings shows you what goes on in the present moment at this point in time in your database. Here you see there were no findings. There are other videos that go into details, so I will not go further into ADDM here. Let's change the time period, for example, to a week. The historical view is very similar to the real-time view, except that it is based on the AWR data and it has three more tapped pages. Here you see the database time by weight class, weight events and time. Then you can see the resources 
OS system statistics, IO statistics. Again, of course, you can move your cursor over the legend and see the details highlighted. And there are also system statistics. Uh, database calls are displayed here, but you could change it to any of these. There is an almost endless amount of possibilities of information, what you can see. System statistics and more system statistics, physical rights, reads, etc. So, this was the high-level overview of Performance Hub in EMXPress 12C. Thanks for watching this demonstration.